fashion sewers. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sew with piping. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Here we have what we call piping and what it is, is, is a cord that is actually inside this bias uh, ribbon, bias fabric and I'm going to show you how to sew the piping cord into the bias itself and then sew the bias onto a seam. Here we have a couple of examples of piping cord and they come in different thicknesses or widths and um, you will know which one to choose for your sewing project and um, I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to kind of judge the width of your bias strip in order to cover them. Here's a quick tip for you for judging the amount that you need for the width of your bias strip is to put your piping cord at a 40, 45 degree angle at the corner of your fabric, fold it over, put a plane in place, that there will do, and from your pin you'll measure 1.5 centimetres or 5 eighths of an inch whichever is your preferred measuring tool and then you cut across and once you've cut across you'll have the measurement for the actual width for example of your actual bias. I now have my bias strip cut to the required width and I've got my cord and I'm going to put it down the centre of the bias strip and then I'm going to wrap the bias over making sure the raw edges meet and then pin into place and then once I've done that I'll take it over to my sewing machine and then I'll sew a straight line from one end to the other I'll just put one more here so it got a good idea of what it looks like and then do make sure that you do have sufficient at each end so your cord doesn't get lost in the actual tubing. Um, I'm actually using my zipper foot for this. You can actually buy feet for cording and they do come in different widths. But if you don't have one then this is a great way to do it. So you put your needle down. Remember you're just going to sew a straight line all the way down as close as possible to your actual cording or as close as your your actual zipper foot would allow you to go. So you should be able to see the line stitching. So I've kind of got my work to an angle so that to make sure it gets as close to the cord as possible. pull my pins out as I go along. I'm going to continue going all the way down and then I'll come back to you and show you how to put it into a seam. The cord is now secure in the bias strip and the next thing to do is to take it to my seam. I've got my fabric piece here. Place it on my seam. I'm just going to put it a little bit just um, above that area because you can always cut that bit away. So I've got the right side of the cord facing towards the actual um, garment and it's on the right side of the, of the garment itself and then I'm going to get the top piece and sandwich it in between like so and then pin it into place and then I'll be doing my second row of stitching. And I'll do a corner as well. I'll turn a corner for you so you can see how that's done. There's another, a little trick I can show you there. Okay, I'm going to turn it over to my machine. And now I've going to sew my seam. And I'm going to continue going straight down. So I've got making sure that the cord is pressed against the feet and making sure I've got control. So I'm pushing it against there so it stays as close as possible. Because remember, we're doing this with a zipper foot you'd have a lot more control if you was actually using a piping foot. Now I'm going to show you how to come around the corner here. So what you need to do is get your scissors, snip 
into the bias, not too close to stitching, mind you, and then place your finger on top, bring your bias round, like so, and keep sewing until it gets to that point there. Now you should be able to feel your work at this point, even though you can't see your bias behind you, you should be able to see that there is a curve happening here. So I'm going to get as close as I can to the curve, about there, needle down my work, foot up, I'm going to come to my work at about a 45 degree angle, hand foot down, I'm going to do a couple of stitches forward, needle down, one more stitch I think I'll do, yep, needle down, foot up, turn my work, get my bias, my bias strip with my cord in, between, trap that, have a quick look under there, and if you wish you can put a couple of pins in there, I'm going to get my feet up, yeah I'm happy with that, and then start sewing, just go slowly because you are coming around the corner here, especially if you're beginning you haven't got any pins in as well. So you should have a nice shape there, nice L shape. And then I'm going to keep on sewing until it gets to the end and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Now here we have it, the L state stitching that I've done in order to get my bias strip and my cord to produce piping. So, uh, what I should really do is to cut away the bulk. So I'm going to get my scissors, trim that much out the way, and then turn it to the right side. And there we have it. Piping to a seam. And I've given you a curved seam there as well. If I just show you, do it that way, and then, okay. I hope you found that video tutorial helpful. Remember you can use piping cord in any particular sewing project you like, such as areas such as collars, pockets, hems, hems on dresses, skirts, oh, there's so many different areas in the garment in which you can actually do that. And it's also a great opportunity for you to write create your own style by producing your own bias strips and coordinating it with your fashion fabric. So if you have any questions or queries, please put them in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.